Ha, awesome. It's a toy tractor. This is the result from approximately 10 minutes to Tecton. 16 markers out, and now I'm going to give them a dig. And every single one of those targets was trash. Bottle tops and ring pulls. Okay, that's all the pegs out again from oh, no more than 10 minutes again. Leading down to there. It's half a dozen down there or something. Quite a lot of targets up here, uh, around where the detector is around near my feet. It's possibly more than what I've got marked out, but I'll dig these and show you what I find. About 25 digs in and I've hit the first keeper. It's a modern 50 pence. Now it may not look like it, but it's raining now, so I've got the camera under the trees to keep it dry. The very next dig was what looks like a threepenny bit. It is indeed George the sixth threepenny bit. Well, that was quick. There's another 16 pegs out there, loads of them around there, and it's an area that I've totally bashed. I'm just finding signal after signal after signal using this method. Unfortunately, it started slashing down. I'm not going to be able to film very much. I've got the camera under the tree. Once the rain starts coming down through all these leaves, it's going to get wet. Bows! So I'm going to put the camera away, but I'm still going to keep detecting. Awesome! Yeah, it's not too awesome. It's a modern two pence. Just sheltering under the trees because it's absolutely lashing down now, as you can tell by how wet my hands are. Look at that, absolutely soaking. Yeah, I might have to give up. Well, maybe absolutely hoying it down. And I'm up the eyes in muck, but I found a pound coin, so I'm a pound richer. Unfortunately, the rain's just stopped now. I've put out another four, possibly five lots of little markers, so that's four or five times 16. That's how many holes I've dug in the rain. Out of those holes, I've got quite a lot of coin balls. This area just around me here has produced maybe about a dozen coins. Well, providing there's coins in the coin balls, it will have produced about a dozen coins. So now I'm going to open them and see what's in. There's already a few loose coins there. It's a modern penny, two threepenny bits. Uh, what's this one? Modern two pence. These two big ones were actually in one hole, so I'm going to open those ones last. Oh god, it's starting to rain again as well. Modern hapney. That's a small one, and that's a modern penny. Ooh, ship half penny. Righty oh. Whoop, that one's just falling apart. That one's another threepenny bit. 
Uh, which ones were the big ones? I think it was M2. Saving those, saving those ones. Hopefully, I'm going to get some silver in amongst here, but I doubt it. Ah, another halfpenny. Come on, silver, 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 silver. Silver, silver, silver. It's not going to be silver. Oh, no. Modern penny. This time, surely. Got to be something good. Oh, modern halfpenny. Little half pence. This time, oh man. Didn't even get the words out of my mouth and that fella fell out. Modern penny. This is a big one. Got to be something good in here. Has to be. Unless it's a two pence or something. Oh, it's a two pence. God. All just modern trash. Two pence. Now these big lads, they've got to have something good in. Start with the smallest one. And they were in a hole together as well. Got to be something good in here. Oh. Oh well, not too bad. Another ship halfpenny. 1959. The last one. Got to have a big old penny in at least. Come on. Ah, oh, yeah, man. Yeah, it's another halfpenny. 1956. Now, this, you saw the ratio of good finds to crap finds in the first few digs that I did. That's how many coins I've got from this small area using dueling detectors. Really works. Absolutely excellent. The Deus is better where there's quite a lot of iron. The E-Track is better where there's a lot of coke. By going over with both detectors, you cannot miss anything. Unless you're not listening. That's the only time you'll miss stuff if you're not listening. Um, pretty difficult. You've just got to just got to relax your ears. You just got to listen for the the higher tones on both machines. It's just the way I've got them set up. The higher tones on the Deus are totally different from the higher tones on the E-Track, and the E-Track tones are so loud that they actually vibrate the handle. So not only can I hear the E-Track tones through the earmuffs. Whilst the Deus is chuntering on and making signals, I can also feel it through the handle. So, it's, it works so well. It's absolutely excellent. Thanks for watching. Just made it worse. Hello. Oh, hello there. Ah. This is small, so I'm not having much. Yeah. This is a small one. I'm not having. Uh, uh, not. Uh, it's not bad. 